Are you remodeling your RV or tiny house and you're trying to figure out how to get that perfect curb for your unique space? Or do you have a house with a tub and you're trying to figure out how to get that perfect space for your shower rod? So, we were in that and this is what we came up with. For less than $3, we have a brand new shower curtain rod. And this is how we done this. We got a uh, half inch thick PVC pipe, and we found that to be, well, tell me what it is. It's half inch PVC schedule 40. <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> it's not that hard to bend. There is tricks online about how you can pour uh, hot water down this and you know, put a rope through it and hold it, and it'll keep that shape. We didn't do that at all. Uh, we put it in one side and put it in the other, and bam, that's what we came up with. So over here, with this uh, heavy engineered equipment, <laughs> what is this, baby? T pot fittings. It's a three-quarter inch PVC T schedule forty. That thing. Okay, so he takes uh, a drill bit and goes, and uh, then takes screws and a washer. It's a washer, ain't it, baby? Is it a washer? Yes. Okay. And he goes in it and in it, and that is up here, y'all. I don't care how hard you shake it, it's not going anywhere. And... We noticed, uh, oh, done the same side. I mean, the other side, the same way. And it's it's holding the straight. If I don't break it in this video, I'm not playing. So we did notice it had a tilt to it, and it was like uh, a little tilt. What are we gonna do? We talked about like putting some kind of wire up here to hold the middle of it to get the extra support it needed. But he actually came up with wedges, and these are screws. Show them on the other side. Okay. The wedges that are holding up the center of this is actually screws. And there is absolutely uh, total support through it all. I mean, now that we have the wedges in here, we could even put a heavier shower curtain on here, but I don't really want to because I like this one. Um, then, it, and of course, it had the PVC black uh, print writing on it, and it was too late to turn it the, uh, the other way where it was, like, completely white. So we just spray painted it, and now we have the curve that we're looking for, and it works just great and we got this and done this all for less than three dollars and it took how long probably an hour an hour that's time we went and got the material okay y'all y'all got to cut out like 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back it took this man 20 minutes to do it <laughs> It did not take long at all. But yeah, it, from the time that we talked about it and what we were going to do, we went and got everything. We we did. We had it up and ready to take a shower in it in an hour. And it took all that heavy glass out of here. It was a brass color. And it was just heavy and ugly. You open the door and you would bump the sink or you would go to step up and out. And it was just you had no room. And you really didn't have an option to do a, a lot of stuff. And so I'll even put a uh, bin in here now and, and take a bath because we can. We don't have that glass blocking us and bumping into it. And even walking from the living room and, and kitchen into here, the glass isn't there anymore. All because of this shower curtain rod. So if you like this video, please like it. And if you want to see some more awesome videos on how to remodel your RV, check it out at tinycreativeliving.com. And as always, be creative.